Hello, my name is Ibrahim Salifu, and today I'm doing the Oral History Project interview with Mr. Yakubu on immigration. Mr. Yakubu, uh, can you please introduce yourself and tell us about your background? Uh, uh, my name is Koriko Yakubu. Uh, I am from Togo. Togo is a part of uh, West Africa. Uh, Togo is a small country, and my country, uh, our official language is French. Uh, uh, I am born in uh, 1966. And, uh, I went to high school in my country, graduated in uh, 1986, and after that I went to the army, where uh, I stayed for almost a year, 11 years, and uh, in 1997 I retired and uh, went to Benin. I love travel, so after my retire, my retirement, I decided to go to to visit other country, and I started by Benin. Benin is just the first country in uh, east of my my country. Uh, how, how how did you get to the United States? Uh, uh, I can say after seven years in Benin. Uh, like I say, I always like to travel. I decided to, to change another country. So um, what come in my mind is the United States because I hear about the United States. A lot of people was talking about the United States and I say, let me go and see what is there. So what was your main motivation? Uh, my motivation is, uh, you know, in United States, we hear that there's a lot of opportunity. So uh, I decided to come and see if I can have something better. It's because, uh, you know, you, you, you got to fight, fight and try to change your life. So I, I, when I hear about United States, I say, uh, let me come and see. And How old were you when you came to the United States? Oh, uh, like I say, uh, I think uh, I was 38 years, 38 years, yeah. Um, what job did you do when, when you got here? Uh, like before or when I got here? Uh, when you got here. The first job I started doing here, yeah. I work in the hotel, mm -hmm. and after that, uh, I went to truck driving school, and I started driving truck. Yeah, mm -hmm. and after that, I, I changed, and I went to the heavy equipment like the, the loader, dozer, the compactor, tractor, and is is what I'm doing right now. Um, before you came, what was your highest educational level? Uh, I'm graduating from high school in my country. Um, did you did you experience any discrimination while you were working in the United States when you came as an immigrant? Did you feel like you were accepted? Uh, I I can say. Uh, I'm not going to say there's no uh, discrimination, but uh, I didn't, I didn't, I, I, I didn't, like, uh, I, I was not victim of any uh, discrimination, no. <clears throat> what was your view of the United States before you came? Uh, you know, like I say. Uh, United States uh, is a big country, big country where people uh, who uh, come over here all the way 
after they go back or they went back to the, their country, still allow Singapore to not state. So for me, it's very, very big country and where we can, uh, people can have big opportunity and can change their life. So for me, United States, my view is is big place where you can change your life. How is uh, American culture different from uh, from African culture? What what were some challenges that you faced when you came? Oh yeah, uh, you know, uh, I'm, I was very very impressed when I come in United States because United States uh, is multicultural. I can see there's there's a lot of culture. It's not only one culture. And they said that before. I, I heard that before I come over here. When I come here, yeah, oh, every day I meet Chinese, Asian people, uh, African people, European, uh, uh, Latino American. So everybody is over here. So there's multicultural community in the United States. Yeah, that, 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 that impressed me so much. That is very good. Uh, what is your opinion on the American immigration uh, process? Uh, like, like what? Uh, like, to, 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 to get the visa? Uh, or? Do you think it's difficult? Do you think they make it difficult for you? For, for oh, yeah. Uh, I, I'm not going to say they make things difficult for the people. You know, America is not a small country, it's a big country. And America is, I think, is the first super persons in the world. So America must do wherever they can to, to make safe their country. Uh, that is why for me, when people say to get visa and come you know, in the United States is very hard. And for me, I say no. It's not hard. It's, it's, the process is, it's, it's good. They have to check everybody. They have to check everything. So uh, I, I cannot say it's hard. No, that's good. For me, it's good vision. It's good. It's not hard. It's, it's normal process. And they have to make everything to make safe their country. And people uh, can not just uh, one day stand up and say they, we come in America and they open the door for them. No, they got, they got to check and they, they have to check and, and make sure the people who is coming, they are coming to work. They are not coming to, to do something bad, you know. So immigration, I do a good job. So you, do you, you think that the, the people that, came, that come to this country illegally, you, you feel that they should be deported? Uh, you know, it's not only America. It's not only United States. Every country, when, every, even in Africa, the, in Africa, if you come, and you are you don't have visa you come illegally they will deport you or they will return you they will try to find and you gotta go to the process to uh, to to regulate yourself so uh if some somebody live here illegally they, they can deport him here yeah, yeah. Well, what about people that have families like have families here do you think they should be they should be deported or do you think they should make it easier for them to stay with their family because Sometimes they, when they deport them, they're separated from their families. Do you think that's, uh, why, how do you think the government should deal with that? Oh, my opinion is, uh, I, I think, uh, I don't know. For me, the first thing I'm going to ask is, I don't know how the, those people can stay here illegally and they are, they are, they are key is legal over here. I, I don't understand that. Because if the government let them stay illegally and they have child over here, uh, you know, I, I think they have something they call, uh, uh, they, 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 they have the process from where they united the people and their family. So uh, from that, I don't think they, they should deport them. No, I don't think so. Okay, so you support amnesty? Yeah, yeah. So uh, finally, uh, what, how do you think the, the American can make the immigration process better? Uh, one thing I'm going to say is America 
the government or the immigration, uh, they are doing their best. And I, I'm not qualified to, to say something about the, the, I don't know nothing about immigration. I'm not immigration expert. expert. So, uh, I've, but, but for me, I think America should do everything to protect their country. If somebody wants to come over here, they have to go through the legal process to obtain the visa. It is what I have to say, what I can say. Thank you, Mr. Salifu, for, for your time. Thank you for doing this interview. All right. Thanks so much.